There are some things in life you will constantly and always fall in love with. Welcome to another episode of Brian's Broadcast. In today's video, I'm going to talk with you about another flanker, a gorgeous new flanker from the house of Giorgio Armani. So, what are we dealing with today? Today we're going to talk about the newly released Aqua di Gio Profondo from the house of Giorgio Armani. As you can see, it's a beautiful blue box, kind of like the ocean itself, silver writing on the top, some information batch code at the bottom, and a lot of information on the back. Now, this is a flanker of the original, the OG Aqua di Gio, and this is already a very much mass appealing and well-known fragrance in the fragrance community. After this came the Aqua di Gio Profumo, another incense-based fragrance, which is very much close to the original one. And I have done a full review of the Profumo. You can check out the link on the top somewhere up above, and you will see the review I've done on this particular one, the Profumo. Next, in 2020, they released a new flanker from the same house and they called it the Profondo. This is just pure love, pure love in a bottle. Gorgeous blue bottle. It's again, it's frosted glass, beautifully done and with the silver writing on top. But unlike the Profumo right here, this particular one, the Profondo does not come with a magnetic cap. The cap is a locking cap, so I would not recommend to pick the bottle up by the bottle, uh, by the cap, sorry. It's exactly like the original, the Aqua di Gio, but the Profondo has some beautiful aquatic notes. And um, right off the bat, from on the top, you get this beautiful, gorgeous aquatic notes with the awesome citrus. And the woody notes are also there, but Particularly, this particular citrus is not a sweet or a mellow kind of citrus. It's a bit bitter, but in a good way. Smells just awesome. But comparing this to the Profumo, which has incense in it. With the Profumo, I feel, I get a vibe of the Bleu de Chanel's incense base. You know, like uh, the woody incense base, slightly leathery but citrusy, just a gorgeous projection of your skin when the heat goes up, it gives you a nice feeling. The same with Profondo, but this one does not have incense in it. This is a remake, a more modernized approach to the original Aqua di Gio. This is the original one. This is the latest release from the house of Giorgio Armani. This is known as the Profondo. Great projection, two hours, two and a half hours, it'll project like a monster on my skin at least doesn't like i won't say it's like absolutely monstrous but it projects pretty heavily that's what i try to mean here and people notices two two feet two and a half feet people will know you're using this one and being relatively new it's still uh, a lot of people are yet to discover it i just got this bottle and i'm simply in love been using it for three days straight and hands down, although it's winter time here in New York, but I still get a lot of compliments of this particular fragrance. Lasts a very long time. And just so you know, this is the ADP, uh, the Perform Concentration, and it lasts me 10 plus hours. Beautiful, gorgeous smell, and you will fall in love with this particular line if you're familiar with either one of them. My suggestion, get all three. All three of them are worth having in your collection as a fragrance lover or as a, as, a, as a noob fragrance lover just like I am. But I am totally in love with this line. I just hope they, just, they don't come up with something new again because I'm a little short on money now. That didn't cost a lot. So until then, you guys take care. Do subscribe to my channel if you're new and do not forget to hit the thumbs up on this particular video. Let me know your, know your reactions, your experience with Profondo or any of uh, any of the other flankers from the House of Giorgio Armani and the Aqua Di Gio line. You guys take care. Peace out.